All right, everybody. Welcome to another presentation by NetworkFromHome.com. In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at how to reboot your modem through your computer. And what that involves is logging into your modem's interface and telling it to reboot. It's pretty straightforward, but this is a different method from manually rebooting your modem. And for a lot of people, manually rebooting your modem is okay. And that process is to simply unplug the power cord from the modem, wait 30 to 60 seconds, and plug it back in, and your modem will reboot. This procedure that I'm going to show you today is just another way of doing that. Basically, the nice thing about this method, though, is you don't have to get out off your couch. As long as you're on your home network, you should be able to go in and tell your modem to reboot. So before we get into it, let's just dive into a few of the positives of rebooting your modem on a regular basis. A lot of times when you have problems with your internet and you call your internet service or provider, they will say to you, please turn off your modem and router and turn them back on again. Another term for this is a power cycle. It's basically just restarting your modem and restarting your router when you do this. But in this case, we're talking about the modem specifically. So your modem, every time it reboots, it reestablishes a connection with your internet service provider. And this just ensures that you have a good, reliable connection to your internet service provider. And a lot of times, if you haven't rebooted your modem in a long time, your connection with the internet service provider will kind of become stale or it might become slow or there might become a, a, a slight disconnect might be experienced. And this will result in slower internet at your home. What's another benefit? Well, another benefit of rebooting your modem is just that when you reboot your modem, you refresh its memory. And it's important to note here that your modem stores information about the devices that connect to it and it passes packets, data packets from your devices to your internet service provider over the internet. And then when it receives those data packets, it passes them along to your router and then to your devices. But what happens over time is your modem will start storing information that it might not need. Let's say you have an old device that was connected to the internet and then you've gotten rid of it, or it's just been a long time and you have a lot of devices connected to your modem. It can get bogged down and the memory can get a little confused and overrun. So every time that you reboot your modem, you're ensuring that it wipes the slate clean and it's starting fresh. So that means the devices that need internet connections will have them because they'll be at the top of the list. They'll be the first devices connecting to the modem after it's been rebooted. So let's go in here and, and see if we can log into our modem's interface. And for me, the default access location or the IP address of my modem is located on a sticker on the bottom of my modem. For a lot of you, that will be the same case. However, if your modem's IP address is not located somewhere on the modem, I'm sure your operating manual will have that information. So for me, my IP address for my modem is 192.168.100.1. So I have an incognito window open here just because I want to show you what it looks like when you log into your modem. So HTTP one, sorry, 192.168.100.1. And then when we, get, when we get this screen, 
it'll prompt us to use our username and password. For some of you, this might be the default username and password that's located on the sticker or in the user's manual for your modem. But I just want to say that you should not be using your default password for your modem. You're going to want to make sure that you change that as soon as you log in. That will be another post that I'll show you how to do in another video. We'll get to that at another time. So for right now, let's log into our modem and see where we have to go from there to reboot it. Okay, so now we've logged into our modem. You can see it's a pretty simple interface here. There aren't a whole lot of choices. And in order to get to the reboot selection, we're going to want to go to the advanced tab. So let's go to the advanced tab and see what options we have. Okay, so here's what happens when you click on the advanced tab. I have covered up some sensitive information about my modem, but we can still talk through the next step. It's pretty obvious. As you can see, there's a reboot button here. So when clicking the reboot button, your modem will go through the automatic process of powering down, powering back on, and reestablishing its connections with both your internet service provider and your router and devices. So upon hitting reboot, once your modem is done starting up, you will have internet access again. There's nothing else you will have to do, except I will, as I mentioned before, I will advise that you please change your default password if you haven't done so already. And you can search for my next video to get an idea of how you can change your password. But that's pretty much the video for today. Thank you for tuning in to networkfromhome.com. Please provide any comments below if you have any questions or check out the blog post. The, bro the blog post that accompanies this video is much more detailed. In case you have any specific questions, I would go there first. It provides some de detailed information that I think will help you. All right, great. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.